Hello everyone, my name is Skellington Wither, and for my first YouTube video on my channel, I decided to make it a Minecraft one, because like, why not, you know, Minecraft, it's a really fun game, it's popular, and the graphics are just outstanding, so like, figured, let's just make it a Minecraft, uh, Minecraft video, like a classic Minecraft, let's play, but, yeah, no, with that being said, is I'm just like mining some logs right now. I did see a village over like not too far away from spawn. So I'm definitely gonna be heading over there um, once I get this tree cut down. But yeah, no, so pretty much my plans for the survival. One of the things I'm gonna be attempting to do in the survival is it's probably gonna go terribly. But I'm gonna attempt to make it as like long as I can if I, uh, without dying in this world. And if I do die, it's what the heck. It's not like it's a hardcore world because you can't really do that on Bedrock. But like, if I do die, it'll be like, ah, I learned, I'll just try again, you know? Like I won't be deleting the world or anything. But yeah, no, just like a fun little challenge. I'm gonna see how um, long I can get without dying. But yeah, no, so that's pretty much one of my things that I'm gonna do for the survival world. Another thing is I know I'm talking very long term right now, but I just like wanna let you know all my plans. But, oh, this is actually, oh, that's an abandoned village. I just realized, see the cobwebs? But, um, I know I'm talking very long term right now, but I just wanna like let you guys know what I'm hoping I'll be able to do in the survival. Uh, um, but it'd be really cool if I could get, like, all the achievements done, like, fighting the wither and, like, taking out the ender dragon, like, finding diamonds, finding netherite, all that stuff. Oh, there's a chicken! Hold on, let me help him. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 okay. There we go. But, um, yeah, no, so, the, like, this... I keep on saying, yeah, no, a lot. It's just, like, it's just how I talk. We all probably, I'm pretty sure, like, every person has their, like, own little, like, thing that they say. What, like, their mistakes when they're talking in, like, sentences. My thing is I just keep on saying, like, yeah, no, a lot. It's just something I do. But just, like, try to ignore it. And the reason I'm, like, trying to collect some dye is so I can, like, dye beds and stuff. And that'd be cool. If I could, like, if I could get, like, a, save up a bunch of dye and then, like, eventually be able to dye, like, leather armor or something. Or, like, wool. I think that'd be pretty cool. And I know I missed a lot of blue flowers that were, um, that were behind me, but it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. I can just, like, you know, find some more. But, oh, wow. It's got, like, I think I... Is that two? No, never mind. It just has one of the, like, stone towers. But that's still good. I'm pretty sure the stone towers have, like, uh, brewing stands. I'm pretty sure. Oh! Who? Who? You are a scary boy. I'm gonna leave you alone for now. Oh, all these people are scared. Because I walked under that, like, ottoman. Or, no, it's not called an ottoman. Like, the, um, like, underneath the side of the roof. I don't know what it's called. But, um, like... And he, and he just popped up. It scared the, scared the dead out of me. What do we have here? Oh, okay. Got some bread. Got some bread. We got some food. This is unknown map. Hold on. I'm gonna, um, keep that for safe keepings. Oh, gosh dang it. My controller sometimes, like, I don't know if this is a common thing that happens to controllers, but what is this? Oh, is this just like a random map? That's whatever. But, um, I don't know if this is a common thing that happens with, like, people and their controllers. But, oh, bed. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Now I can sleep tonight and not get absolutely, uh, like, smoked by zombies. But, um, yeah, no, let me get back to the point. But, I'm, like, I keep on getting sidetracked whenever I'm trying to talk. But, um, yeah, no. The, I literally just forgot what I was gonna say. Gosh dang it. That's nah, fine. Let me collect some of these. Uh, let me get some of the potatoes. Uh, there we go. I'm probably gonna be moving out of this village really soon, so, like, I just won't bother replanting them. Or, like, the stuff. 
I will use, I will put the, um, seeds and that, like, I, I forget what that's called. You see that, like, um, basket thing or whatever? We'll put the seeds in here. I think it's really annoying how these things work, because it takes, like, 20, um, like, seeds just to get, like, one bone meal. It's really annoying, but, like, I may as well get it, because I'm not really using them for anything else. Yeah, no, they're the last of my seeds. It's really annoying, um, how much, or, like, how much stuff it takes to use. But, okay, that's really I'm sick of you guys being all over the place. I'm just trying to, just trying to take a stroll here. I'm sick of running into you bad boys, you know what I'm saying? Just get out of here. Oh, you have a lot of health. That was over pretty quickly, though. Okay, I'll just keep the rotten flesh i guess because like i'm uh, another thing that i do that's really annoying is all like at first my inventory will be kind of organized like it kind of is organized now but then later it'll be just all over the place right and i have a couple friends who um who do the same thing and it's like a shared annoyance but there's a second story hold on and another thing I don't get is why does it take so long to break cobwebs? Like realistically, well I can't really say realistically because I know Minecraft isn't the most realistic of games. But like, if you were to just swipe your hand through a cobweb, it just would disintegrate instantly. But no, in this game, they're like jumbo sized and it takes forever to break one. Is there even anything up here? No, there's not even anything up here, Never mind. Now I'm stuck in one. And it takes incredibly long for you to get out of them, which is annoying. But they do look kind of good if you're trying to make stuff look, like, spooky and, like, abandoned as this village is doing. I should probably be taking the tools from this village since no one is, like, inhabiting the area. But I don't have, like, a pickaxe or anything. And I don't know if you can, like, pick up stone cutters or anything with, uh, without pickaxes. If you can, then I'm going to sound, like, really dumb. Like, big boy dumbness, but I just don't know. Leave! As I said before, you guys are being really annoying. You guys are being bad boys. I don't like bad boys. Gosh dang it, there's nothing up here. Okay, well, I'm set on food. I don't have to worry about food. What I am kind of worried about, though, is sleeping. I probably shouldn't be that worried about it. But there's just, like, zombie villagers everywhere. And it's a bit annoying. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna craft the crafting table. I think I should have done this a while ago. Hold on, let me make a blue bed. Because, you know, besides from green, blue is my favorite color. You know, obviously. And let me make a wooden sword, and then I'll make a pickaxe to go with it. There we go. See, now it's getting a bit more cluttered, my inventory. But, you know, it's not, it could be worse. Let's, let's, let's all be honest, it could be worse. Probably gonna get, like, really bad karma for saying that. But it's fine. I don't care. I think I've looted, like, this entire village. I think I should, like, I think I should go somewhere else. I don't have to worry about nighttime. That's, like, a fact. Well, I do have to worry about nighttime because I don't want to get smoked by mobs, as I've mentioned earlier. Hold on. But yeah, no. Wait a minute. If I were to wait, remember those bookshelves? If I break them and get paper, I can like make my map bigger. Wait, do I um? Wait, no. You get books. What am I saying? Whatever. I'll just I'll take the books from these anyway. It's fine. I I thought they dropped paper and books. I, my Minecraft knowledge is failing me big time but yeah um we're just gonna go over here oh there's a chest in here now that i have a sword i can like actually oh i've already been here but i just came back for the cartography table i almost got it i was about to say something else i think but it's a cartography table whatever i'll take the carpet too because when i do make my little shelter hut thing I don't want it to look all plain and boring. Oh yeah, you don't like being in the sun, huh? Oh, that was a one shot. <laughs> Felt kind of bad, actually. <laughs> but, 
Hold on, I am going to take the bell. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. But I think the bell is for raids, and you ring it so, like, all the villagers go inside their house and they're not in the middle of, like, nowhere when all the pillagers attack. Oh, speaking of raids, that's something I also want to do. I want to, like, complete a raid. But I'm going to need a not-abandoned village. I'm pretty sure you need... Yeah, no, you need a not-abandoned village, I'm pretty sure. And then, like, a pillager tower. And that's pretty much all I'm going to need. It's not that bad. So, you know, hello, Mr. Pig Boy with your cross eyes. Crossed eyes. Yeah, alright. Sorry for the insult. You just continue doing your stuff. Oh, oh, oh! You see that? You see those? No, no. Oh my gosh! There's mobs everywhere. You don't tell me I'm gonna have to fight all of them. The, what I'm really worried about is the witches, because they have, like, not only, like, pretty long-ranged attacks, they have poison! What just hit me? What? Are you kidding me? Oh, hex no. Hex to the no. Oh, and there's skeletons. I just heard a bow shot. Okay, time to run. I, I genuinely have to go now. Okay, hold on. See, see, remember when I said I, uh, I wouldn't have to worry about the night time? Do, do, do. Huh. Guess what karma has in store for me? Not, not fun times. Not fun times at all, I can tell you that. Okay, am I far enough? Yes! Alright, sleep. Sleep, dream, it's dream, 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 dream. I don't know if that song is copyrighted or not. Hopefully it's not. It'd be kind of awkward if I got a copyright strike for singing, like, literally half a quarter of that song get out of here don't want to see you around here again which i'm not going to because you're kind of like you know 12 feet under but i'm saying get it because like he's a zombie so he was six feet under but i killed him again so now he's 12 feet under you get the joke i'm huh? like so funny yeah besides my expertise comedy um Oh wait, I can, if I, oh, you, that's, okay, um, you can mix dyes to make other ones, which is, like, obvious, I'm pretty sure everyone knew that, but I'm just saying, because I have bone meal, which makes white dye, and then I can make light blue dye if I wanted to make, like, a sky blue bed, which I might do, actually, might do that, <laughs> did I actually, wait, did I craft the bone meal on the white dye, oh, I did that on accident, then. Wait, hold on, these give me white dye, right? Oh, are you kidding me? They give me light gray dye. No, I didn't want that. Dang, it takes a lot to make magenta dye. It takes like three types of dyes. Well, it takes a lot of like dyes for, it doesn't take a lot, but like for dye standards, it does kind of take a pretty penny. But yeah, no, it takes like four dyes to make magenta. You need like, Blue, red, and red, white, and blue. Aha, uh -huh. America. Woohoo. Yeah, America. Alright, let me put those in my pocket. Should probably be cutting down trees, shouldn't I? Instead of just walking around collecting dyes. Oh, yeah, no, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna start doing that, actually. Let me get a crafting table. Bada bing, bada bang. I can make more bread, I just realized. Yeah, and then let's go cut down a couple trees. <gasps> oh, if only I had bones. That'd be cool if I had bones. I could have a pet dog right now, but I don't have bones, which kind of stinks. That's eh, fine. Oh, like I'll probably get. Oh, I, well, I, I will get some eventually because I'm not gonna go this entire, this entire expedition if you will without getting any bones or getting a dog i'm pretty sure there's an achievement for getting a dog right there has to be like there's an achievement for literally opening your inventory so excuse me so there has to be a dog achievement Hold on, let me just... yeah i think if i break down like three trez it'll be enough you know just refunding my donation of team trees I can't believe Team Trees like actually planted I think it was twenty million trees. Doing doing good for Mother Nature, you know what I'm saying? Doing good. Doing good. But 
Yeah, no. Speaking of Minecraft tools, um, did you know that this is out of nowhere, but I just remembered it. Um, I think it's on Bedrock, but do you know if you, um, like, um, use a tool incorrectly, it'll do double the amount of damage that it, um, does regularly? Like, what I mean by that is if you, like, use a pickaxe to hit a zombie, it'll do double the, like, amount of damage that it would if you used it to mine stone. Which is, like, pretty cool. I only learned this, like, recently. Not too long ago, I learned this. But, yeah, no, I've heard it from a couple different, couple different, uh, sources. But, yeah, how many trees is that? It's, uh, two, I think. So just one more, one more. Yeah. And, yeah, no, I've gotten, like, no cobblestone, which is a big no-no. So I'll have to get some of that in a, in a little bit. Hold on, there are like a lot of, of those really big trees in this area, like the giant ones. I'm gonna have to get like those later. The only annoying thing about those types of trees is like they take forever to mine. If you wanna get like all the wood like me, they just take forever to mine. It's, it's annoying, but you know, you gotta do it. I love, and also another thing is I, I love Minecraft physics, you know? Look I, look, I can't blame them, because, like, if, like, this, it'd be so hard, I, I keep on, like, stirring, but it'd be so hard to, like, make realistic physics with, like, things this big. Like, one block is literally half of your entire body, so if they were to try to make, like, trees fall, um, when you, like, broke them, it'd probably cause, like, severe lag or something, you know, because of the animation, and just, like, well, maybe not lag, but it'd, like, be really annoying. Probably be more annoying than trees floating, to be honest with you. But, yeah. That's, like, another thing. So, like, I know the graphics and stuff easily are, like, not the best. But you gotta cut them some slack, you know. Because Mojang is, it's doing, is, they're doing their best for Minecraft. But one thing that I really want them to change, and like, all my friends agree with me too, can they just make like, their fighting style better? That's like, all I want for the fighting style. Because like, look at this, look at this. When you're fighting someone, this is all it is. Like, eventually this gets very boring. And there's this mod that if I ever got a PC, I would have 100% use. But it upgrades the fighting styles by like 3,000. There's like, um, there's like combos that you can do. Like actual like combos and stuff. And it's just so cool. And like, um, it looks awesome. It looks awesome. And I want it. <laughs> Sadly though, I'm gonna probably have to wait like forever. But yeah. No, that's pretty much, this is pretty much how the, how the, uh, what's the saying? How the cookie crumbles? I think that's the saying. That's the saying, right? Yeah, that's the saying. That's how the cookie crumbles. This is gonna take a lot of wood, actually. Hold on. This is gonna take a lot of wood, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. I'll, like, I'm definitely gonna have to cut down some more trees for this. So, I think what I'm gonna do is just, um, build the house and then cut to the end when it's done. So, uh, with that being said, see you when it's finished. <sighs> Looking pretty good so far. Hello? This looks good. Okay, I'm finally done. That took an embarrassing amount of time. Now I know it literally looks terrible, but again, like as I said, it wasn't meant to be like anything pretty. 
It was just meant to be like a very, very temp uh, temporal shelter. And But before we get to the tour of that, I built a mine over here. And I actually found some iron. But, yeah, no, there's still a bit more in there, and I'll have to mine that in a little bit. But, yeah, no. Um, with that being said, if we go over here, and we walk inside, you'll find everything that I've had so far. Got the carpentry table, I think that's how you pronounce it, crafting table, furnace, brewing stand, and then my bed, then a double chest, which just has so much good stuff, to be honest. Like, I don't even know if there might be, like, netherite or... <coughs> Like, if there might be netherite in there or something, I didn't even know. But, yeah, no, it's just, like, such good stuff. But, anyway, that being said, guys, I'll, um, I'll see you in the next video. And, um, yeah, no, see ya.